But I think that there are a lot of people who write with a, from, from passion. Yeah. You know, because I really believe this. I really think this is important. I think the world needs to know, needs to hear. They this. want to be heard. You know, and yeah. uh, or you know, like that, that, or even curiosity. I want to know if anybody else in the world is experiencing what I'm feeling right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna put this out there, and then you know, if they, if they spear me, then you know, <laughs> so be so You know, I'm the only so one. But you know, I, you can I be the only person on earth that's experiencing these feelings? Or I've got this research, or you know, I've, I've, I've found something that I, it would be selfish for me to keep this to myself. Mm. So I just think there's a variety of motivations that, that can come, you know, and not excluding the self-promotion thing. Mm -hmm. you know, but I think that there, there are many people that, that do things for different reasons. Right. And, that, that, and the passion that comes from that. Uh, you know, for, like for me, it's hard for me to write about something I'm not passionate about. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, it, it's work. You know, and a lot of what I have to do in the newspaper because I'm transcribing or whatever, that's work. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's something that, that I'm on fire about, you know, it's it you know, it's, a yeah. it's a whole different phenomenon. I've written oh only a half dozen poems, but I never wrote a poem in my life except fourth grade when we had to <laughs> sit down and make rhymes. But I found that during, just a few years ago in the middle of conflict and self-detective self work trying to really find out how, how I was with myself and in a changing environment that I was in, I wrote poetry. I sat down and wrote it out and described it and that was my therapy. And Something evolved. It was very amazing at the end of at the end of it. It had nothing to do with my trying to get myself out there. It was trying to to the public. It was trying to get myself out there to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that that's what came so from that. My first well, poem that, was "I Such as I." First mm -hmm. poem I ever wrote. I me mean, and so I be is another guy. Someone such as I. If there be another guy, someone such as I. Let me spy on this guy such as I. And I was in the hospital at the time when I wrote that. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I definitely agree with you. You know, it, it has to, um, in order for you to get to the point to write down a piece, um, there has to be a starting point, which is usually a uh, passion, soapbox, or something that, uh, has set you on fire or maybe sad enough to, to want to either reveal or understand what's going on. And uh, for, and like Mr. Kojo was saying, sometimes you get to a point when you've chosen this field of writing as a career choice, well, it's work and so it's, you're not as passionate about it, but you still have to produce. And in that sense, no, there is no ego involvement. That's uh, survival because you need to you need to get that out there to make sure you get your paycheck. But um, when it comes to putting out a, a piece of uh, or putting together a, a work such as a book or a pamphlet or something like that, a lot of times it doesn't start out that way. It doesn't. But that's the end result. And so um, for many other reasons other than self-promoting or self-indulgence uh, or whatever, you know, I don't think it ever starts out that way. But eventually the ego may creep in for some people. Once you've done one and, and you know, oh, I can do this. Yeah. And you know, somebody's listening, oh, I must be pretty good. And that's where you have to keep that balance because then you lose the passion or you lose the drive and then it becomes um, let me get another one out let me yeah. do another one yeah. and and that's where that that balance between ego and, and the love for what you're doing has to be maintained but that's why I said I don't believe because there are a lot of people that write uh, and no one ever sees that that work or no one ever hears it so I think to, to, to write, um, it starts from a passion. But like for me, my 
pen pal when I was in England. I wrote her and I said to myself, wow, if I could affect somebody like that, but I didn't even know him, I must be able to write. And then I started writing more. And it was like therapy for me. But while I was in the military, I was going through some serious changes because of the people that were there. It's just like the wider society. All the things that happen in the wider society happen on the base. Uh, Air Force Base or uh, Army Fort, because you've got all the different individuals and you've got your structure of uh, command and different rules and regulations and stuff. And uh, it's like being in a, in, a, in, a, in a little world away from uh, the mainland, you know. And uh, like me, I was innocent when I went in the military. I didn't think there was any crime or anything like that. And then once I got in there and became a cop, I said, boy, this is for real. Yeah. And they taught what they taught us in basic training, we didn't use when we got on the base because of different personalities and different leaders and different NCOs and officers. And it was all together different. And I tried to be as true as I could to the fairness part. And in a way, it hurt me. But it helped me get out of the service. And I'm a disabled veteran. I get paid for that.